Okay, so as promised, uh, my lure choice for giant bluefin tuna fishing, top water obviously in Tenerife. Uh, as you can see, I have a bit of a wide variety, but most of them are stick baits. All of them are floating except for one. I'm a firm believer on, on floating stick bait strikes. The sick thing I bought this here is uh, this small little bullet, it's uh, from Hulk, okay, 100 grams, sinking, one hook, it flutters in the fall, uh, it flutters on the, on the, on the fall, and it's a proven, it's a proven uh, stick bait for when they're eating small baits and going for big balls and stuff and they don't want to eat any of the, of the big baits. So this is the only sinking I brought. But I mean, it's because I'm not a firm believer or firm user of the, of, of sinking. Then the star lure of the trip, probably for us, has been a new emerging lure. Simple, very simple, but yet very effective. These are made in Spain. Chul Pop, made in Menorca by Isaac. Uh, I'll put all the details down, don't worry, and you can search them up. But it's a... Uh, very simple, very effective popper. Cast a long mile because it's very streamlined. It holds water with, with wind and stuff, so uh, fantastic. Next, uh, another lure which has um, really impressed me because of many things, you know, the castability with the size. Usually big lures don't cut so well. Uh, and how you could see the lure, the flash in the water and how erratic it moves. Wow, this pulled up some big fish. Uh, one of them actually uh, broke me off. You can see he dug the hook into the into the lure itself and ah, fucking uh, peeled off and um, broke me off. And a while later, we actually found well, another boat found the lure floating and gave it back to us. So lucky day, lucky but unlucky, you know, losing the fish. This is from a good friend, uh, an echo from Bilbao, uh, well, no, up north. Uh, these are actually resin. This is the only two resin lures I have here are these and Glide. Um, and it's because they are lively. This resin is very lively. It's a lot of buoyancy, very strong. As you can see as well, I've, I've rigged many hooks, many lures with single hooks. In this case, these are BKK hooks, deep jigging on a short mini assist. These are tied by you know, FMS from Lanzarote. Um, freak hooks, okay? I'll put the details down at the bottom. We were we were concerned with the hooks because a lot of BKK have been breaking, uh, especially the monster circle hooks. So we were a bit, uh, let's see what's going to happen with the BKK. Um, we've held a couple of fish, no hooks broken for now. So the deep digging from BKK seems to be holding, but I think we need more fish to, to know with certainty. Today with poppers, got black ledge, see a white mouth kind of thing, uh, popper, a lot of flash, cast very well, uh, I haven't thrown it very much because obviously the chul pops have been kicking ass. Untamed lures from Australia as well, like black ledge, just look at the finish, flash, been strong. These have a sort of a, a wide ass, lazy. If you do long sweeps, but if you give it a bit of a kick, it'll go erratic and it'll sort of jump onto the water, then go back in. Uh, yes, I think this will bring up a lot of tuna as well. Um, didn't throw it as much as I would like because, again, yes, as I said before, some of the lures have been really hot, but I have no doubt that these will bring up a lot of fish. We also have another diving popper from Guston. Oh, I mean. Very natural colors. Very easy to move. It's a diving popper which you can give it long sweeps and it will give you some, some tail kicks with a really nice bubble trail. So very appealing for tuna as well. I mean, 
Personally, uh, diving stick baits is is the go-to lure for for bluefish. Also, any popper that creates a bit of commotion, leaves a bubble trail, and has a good kick. If you add flash to it, you have perfect tuna lure. Talking about the perfect tuna lure is the native works in a palm. Okay, this is the diving popper. This is the one I first I first used. I don't know, maybe ten years ago. And since then, it's been producing fish, so it cannot be with this without this pot. Two other of my trusted lures, uh, lifesavers. The Carpenter Bluefish, 100. Since when nothing else works, the day is very slow and you know there's tuna there, he will raise them, for sure. And of course, the trusty Amegari, this is a mehe, very erratic. With casting, good presence, which is what I'm after, for the lure to have a presence in the water, fish to see it, yeah. and then of course it has a very erratic action. Oh, so we've got also some other prototype lures from Glide. This this actually accepts really heavy travels, so I was having trouble moving them with with the singles, you know. So we tried some Baker rigs to try and say uh, and reach. The weight of ST76 trebles and stuff. And uh, with singles, I couldn't make it swim. But with with, uh, with uh, trebles, these are very nice. Very, very nice. Very crazy, very erratic. Uh, every sweep is different. Every sweep will move the lure differently. Yeah. And that's that's quite appealing. Uh, this is another prototype from Glide. Which this this has a bit more of a lazy. This, this lure actually raised the fish. Just floating in the water. Uh, you see the flash it has, it's very wide. Uh, one, one, of our, one of our colleagues had a strike on the rod. The camera is up here, so I just, my, my lure was far out. So I just turned around, put the camera on to get the action. And once the lure was just floating, boom, the tuna came out. So they fished even without moving. Go back to some other stars of the trip. We have the Nabla. These were actually were actually left behind for me from the builder who are, who was fishing here last week. Um, the the season has been tough, so not everybody has been able to see fish and get onto fish and even have a chance. They they weren't too lucky uh, on top water, so uh, to try give the lures a chance, you know. Uh, of course, I'm a lure junkie. <laughs> I would try them, uh, and I mean, I casted. This yesterday and it lasted one cast. So that's this is a lure we got tight with yesterday. This is a lure we brought up, which unfortunately we lost both sides with the fish. But very happy because uh, the mission was accomplished. Uh, the fish got both sides. We leaded him in, and uh, very very sad because we lost the lure. <laughs> and these are two of the bigger bottles. Okay. So this is my lure choice for Tenerife, for giant bluefin tuna. Uh, I'm sure there'll be many more that work, but uh, up to now, I think the choice, I mean, we have got over 30 lures and these are the ones which we've been using, adapting to the situation, the weather, and I'm sure there'll be many more lures which work, but for me, these are the best. One last bit of equipment or gear. Uh, is a comfortable fighting belt, a fighting belt that will enable good angles. Yeah. This is made in Italy by Glide. I've been using them now. I've been part of the development since, well, I don't know, eight, nine years. I still have mine from eight years and it's still working. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> I got nothing but praise for these belts. They're comfortable, they're light, and most importantly, they give the right angles for popping. It's designed for for popping. It's not, for example, like a black magic, I do not recommend because it sits far low, the angle is too high, and you're very prone to high stick. And not, not all moments are good for high sticking, and especially if you're tired. So uh, they're not, not cheap, but they're worth every penny, and they will last forever. With this belt, you will fight tons of fish. Oh,
Are we recording? working with Hulk for some time to develop something dedicated for Bluefin Tuna uh, in places like Canary Islands. And I mean dedicated because this is a popping rod. It's not a stand-up rod rebuilt to make it a popping rod. This is a specifically designed popping rod for giant Bluefin Tuna. Yes, we had doubts. Yes, we were skeptical, but we have proved it. On the first trip, we put a lot of work into it, a lot of excitement. Uh, and I think I need to take my hats off to the boys in Hulk. They've done a fantastic job. Uh, I'm not a light angler. I'm not an easy angler. I like to give rock and roll. I like to high stick. And uh, I think we put the rod through its paces pretty well. Uh, there were a few sketchy moments. We would say, okay, if it breaks now, it breaks. And uh, we'll take it from there. But the rod held. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised. I'm very happy. Um, the rod casts really well. It's a PE 14 rod, uh, 130, um, 350 pound class, a seven foot two. And we were fighting the fish uh, with a locked 30K. I know I know the 18K has more drag, but um, the 30K in this case, simply because of capacity, because uh, some of the fish are too big with, with uh, long currents and um, very deep water. Um, so we were very happy with the rod. I would highly recommend it. Uh, you will move stick baits really well. It's not a, a stumpy stand-up rod. It's actually quite light. It would cast really well. So if you're looking at chasing bluefin tuna on on, on, on stick baits or poppers, uh, and you're thinking about buying a rod, I can recommend on, on the Bullfighter 350. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> Well, with Sergio, he's our skipper. Hello, guys. <laughs> Sergio, uh, if, if people are thinking about coming to Tenerife fishing, what would you say to me? Uh, if you like to, to catch the, the piece of, of the life, uh, this is the place, you know. Uh, we have a really nice fishing every year, and we have the bluefin tuna migration between uh, March to May. Also, we have the tuning season on uh, October, November, December. We have six eight months of the year uh, for tuna fishing all types of tuna so we have yellowfin tuna we have very big big eye tuna and we have very 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 big 
bluefin tuna. <laughs> so, I mean, you can, throughout the year, you have tuna fishing around the islands. Maybe it's not top water the whole year, but I mean, it's tuna fishing. So, every year, fantastic place to be. <laughs> Hey boys, we're on board the Gofia tuna fishing boat. A nine meter boat, pretty long. It's got a three meter beam, very wide. And as you can see, very stable, very comfortable. Got loads of area to cast from. See, easy walk around. Fully equipped. Fully equipped. <laughs> Rod, rod holders everywhere. See, many rod holders. 350 V8. Here's the boys. Lounging around, more rod holders. This chair comes off, but when, we, when we're sailing, we leave it on. <laughs> Good morning, buenos días. Que pase yo. Let's go fishing. Tapi machine. <laughs> yeah! Double trouble, motherfucker!